Hello everybody, here's my Toshiba Satellite C75DB7100. It is a 17 inch Toshiba screen. It comes with 6 gigs of RAM, a 750 gigabyte hard drive, and an AMD Quad Core A8 processor. There are the specs from Toshiba. If you look just below memory, you will see where it says the memory is not user replaceable. Okay, well, I already opened it up and looked, and you can replace it. So I opened it up before I ordered these parts. I got myself a crucial 16 gigabyte kit. That Those are the old memory sticks, actually, because I already took them out and put the old ones back in the package. It has a 4 and a 2 for a total of 6 gigs that was in there from the factory, and it now has six, the 16 gigs in it. And also upgrade it with a Samsung SSD 850 EVO solid state drive 250 gig drive one of the fastest drives on the market so I figured that plus the 16 gigs of RAM would be a good upgrade for the Toshiba satellite C75D B7100 I got them both on sale at Newegg for I think around $160 so the laptop was about $375 so a little over $500 got me a what is now top of the line system so next part of the video I'll open it up for you and we'll see how to get in there okay all you have to do is take out all the screws take out every single one of them all the screws out of the bottom you don't need to remove the keyboard and take the battery off take the battery out which I'll do that. So let me take the battery out. And then there's a little screw here. Actually, screw there. That holds the DVD drive in. So after you undo that one screw, you can pull the DVD drive completely out. Pull the DVD drive out, take the battery out. And then you can unsnap the edges of the bottom of the case and pull it off. <clears throat> okay, I took the battery out. And thing about taking the bottom of it off is you have to start on this side, the side opposite of the battery, and you just get your fingernails, and, or you can probably use a, like a very, very small flathead screwdriver and start popping it up. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. All right. For my next uh, part, what I wanted to do is take the case off. So I've got my friendly assistant to help hold the camera. So one thing I noticed is is um, this will probably keep you from breaking your laptop because um, I was kind of not knowing what I was doing when I took it off because there were no other videos on how to remove the uh, how to remove the lid or how to remove the the back at the bottom of the case. So I'm going to use a little flathead screwdriver and really what you can do though is, is after you remove the battery and the DVD player, um, oh and there's another little screw right here for the DVD player by the way, I took it off. That little screw right there, you've got to take that off as well, you don't want to forget to take that off. So you've got a couple of little tabs right here um, that you can, that you can you can kind of like move them that way to try to get them off that are that are visible. And then what you want to do is go around the edges and just kind of slowly start peeling it up. And you want to put something in between it like that while you do it so it doesn't snap back shut. And Ava is behind us having some dinner. And here, crunching, having some dinner. But I just use my fingers. You really can just use your fingers. If you have fingernails, and I like using my fingers because you don't scratch it. Because your fingernails don't scratch it. So just keep going around the edges and be careful. You want to keep shimming it and separating it 
around the edges as you go because you don't want it to snap back on you. Be, and you just want to be careful not to break it. And you also want to make sure that all the screws are out, like 100% of the screws are out. You want to check, like literally go check each hole. There are no screws underneath the feet, so you don't need to take the feet off. I already did that to one of, one of the feet. There are no screws underneath this either, underneath the label. Sometimes there are screws underneath the label. You can see that divot where I thought a screw was under there. And I pressed it down, there was no screw. So you just keep prying it up. And then once you pry up this part, then you have the very, very back right here that you need to do lo get loose. So what you do for that is you need to push out so you can pull the plastic away from the tabs here where the battery fits in because you don't want to break it because you can break it pretty easily. I almost broke it. I didn't break it though. It's fine. But once you get this part done, you just want to, you want to keep keep prying it, keep prying it up till like you get all the way to these tabs in the back. And then what you do is you just push it push it in. Lift it up. And you can see it's coming off. Just have to be careful with it. I already took it off before so it's a little bit looser the second time around. There we go. See it? It's popping it off a little bit. It will come off if you just keep working it. It actually was easier the first time I did it. Oh, another thing. See the side? How it's separating like this? Oh, actually, it's not separating. That's the two parts of the laptop. But yeah, you want to separate it like just this part. Now I'm making it look more difficult than it was for me the first time. Watch me ironically break it this time. I think this is why they tell you though it's not user replaceable. It is a little bit hard to get off. Yeah, that was a little bit silly. I'm just gonna have to edit that out or something. Okay. Huh? Okay, now that's what it looks like whenever you take the case off, the back off. And look, there's two spots where you can replace the memory right there. And if you've never done it before, you just pull apart that tab and that tab pull it out, the memory will just spring up and pop up. And then as you can see my Samsung 850 Evo is in there already, I already installed it. What you do is you pull off these two rubber grommets actually pop completely out and stay attached here and here. And Then you pry it up a little bit and then pull it out fits in right there. And then once you're done putting the, your new parts in, just put the back back on and snap it back on and put the screws back in. Okay. 
Now I put all the screws back in and screwed it back in. And I've noticed that if you keep pushing it down on the edges in different spots, you'll hear it snapping, which means that it's still getting snapped back together. There's a lot of little spots to snap it back together. She wants some noodles. She wants to eat it. Can't have it right now. But yeah, if you just keep snapping it down like this, you can hear Ava begging for noodles. Just keep pushing it down until you don't hear it snapping anymore. And then you put the battery back in. And then you can start your computer and it, it should work fine if you use the same speed of memory. If you look, here's the memory one more time. It's exactly the memory I got from Crucial. I'll put the, I'll put the link in the comments. And this is the memory that was in there. You can see PC3L12800. And that's what I got. Let's see, PC3. Sorry about the focus. PC3 12800. Now I have Windows on. And you can see. Got the Windows 10 upgrade, 16 gigs. I just had my uh, recovery on a USB, USB drive, and so when I put my new stuff in, I just ran the recovery on it from the USB stick, put all the Toshiba stuff back on. 16 gigs of RAM, 15 gigs usable, 64 bit operating system. There you have it. It can be done. So, enjoy your upgrade. Ava, what do you have to say? Here, let's go ahead and feed her some noodles. Here, let's feed you some noodles, Don't too. Feed me oh, she's under there. Look, she's under there. She's embarrassed. Have some noodles. Do you want some noodles? noodles on you. you want some noodles? No, thank you.